This small 160 rupees model can be really useful for a lot of projects. Like you can make a motion based welcome greeting for your smart home. Welcome to Techie SMS Studios. Or you can make a simple MP3 player out of it. Or can also be used for making our own PTM like sound box that we tried to make in our previous video. Hi Sachin, we received an amount of rupees 12 and 34 paise. So basically, whenever you want to add some customized automated voice notes for alerts, commands or greetings, you can use this module straight away. So I'm talking about this MP3 module that works with any microcontroller that has the UART communication to play MP3 files stored in the SD card. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this module with Arduino and ESP32 board and also let you know how to use all the functions of this module. So before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, well consider subscribing this channel as I come up with some educational content in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. Well that being said, let's just start with the MP3 module. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get their information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. Okay, so coming back to the video. So let's first start using this MP3 module via Arduino Mega Board. So you have to make the connections between both of them according to this connection diagram. Now here at the receiver side, you need to attach a resistor as the MP3 module works on a 3.3V while Arduino works at a 5V logic. After that, just open up Arduino IDE and let's first install the required library for this module. For that, just go to sketch, include library and then into manage libraries. Here just type DF player mini and install this library. After that, just open up the example code from the library and we'll be uploading this code directly to our Arduino Mega board. Now we will need one SD card where we will be loading all the MP3 files. But make sure that the SD card is less than 32 GB otherwise it won't be supported by the MP3 module. In this just add a couple of MP3 files and then insert it in the MP3 module. Now we are good to go to test our project on the Arduino board. So it's working but we are badly able to listen to the music. Let's try increasing the volume to maximum inside the code. Now the music is audible but it's not that loud. Like here is the actual sound that is coming from the mp3 module. So one thing is clear, we'll need an external amplifier module along with this mp3 module in case we want to make our music properly and loudly audible. So here I'm using this PAM8403 amplifier module and I'm connecting it according to this connection diagram. So now if I test this project along with the amplifier, well then here is the actual sound that we are getting. So it's pretty much loud enough and not only that both mp3 module and the amplifier module supports stereo sound. So now let's connect the second speaker and test the results. Cool that's loud enough for any application. Still the quality of the music I'm getting from the speaker is not that great maybe it's the issue with my speaker. I don't know but it's working completely fine. Now let's move ahead and see how to make it work with a lovely ESP32 board. So first you need to make the connections between both of them according to this connection diagram. 
Now here we are using the hardware serial pins of ESP32 board and as both ESP32 board and the MP3 model works on 3.3 volt logic, we didn't add any resistor in between. So now inside the code, I'll remove the software serial part and change it to serial 2. And that's it. Now let's upload this code on the ESP32 board. Wow, that was loud and clear. Yes, the quality of music I'm getting from the ESP32 board connection is way clearer than one with the Arduino board. Maybe it's because both the MP3 model and the ESP32 board works on 3.3 volt logic? Maybe, but I'll suggest if you have an option to go for ESP32 board, make sure you use ESP32 board along with this DF player mini and the uh, amplifier model to get much better results and much clear music. So that was all about how to use them with Arduino and ESP32 board. Now let us move ahead and see what kind of functions we are getting inside the library and how to use them. Now let us have a look over the example codes and let's see what kind of functions we are getting and how to trigger a particular voice using a sensor, using a button and stuff like that. Let's have a look over the example code. Okay, so I'll open the example code that comes along with this particular library. So I'll go into examples and uh, inside the df rope or df mini player, we'll go into the full function because this example code contains all the functions that we can use in this uh, you know, mp3 model. Okay, so it has a lot of functions built in and uh, it is properly commented uh, as well. So you can easily understand what kind of functions we are getting and they are really very easy to use. For example, you, can, you just need to write my df player dot next to play the next file. Similarly, previous to play the previous file play and pause is also there to you know start and stop the uh, recordings okay then we have we can also select a particular folder and a particular file inside that particular folder for example this function will be playing a specific file inside the folder number 15 and the file number is 4 and here it is also mentioned that we can create up to 99 folders and inside each folder we can create up to 255 recordings now one thing to be very clear in this is this whole system works on number and doesn't works on name. So you can't, you know, give command to this player that, hey, uh, DF Mini just play the song Kesariya. <laughs> it won't play. Rather, you have to give the number to that MP3 file, okay? But here's one great hack if you want to write the name to easily recognize that particular file. Let me show you that hack. So what you can do is you can use the function called as play where it is. Yeah, here is the play. So this play function will play the first MP3 file inside that particular uh, SD card. So what you can do is inside the SD card, you can name the file Kesariya as one underscore uh, Kesariya. Why I'm sticking on to Kesari, I don't know because yeah, this is the trending song maybe. Okay, <laughs> so what you can do is you can write the name one underscore Kesari and with this you can easily, you know, recognize that yeah, this file is of the Kesari song and by using this function, you'll be able to play the first file and the first file is obviously starting with the number one. So the DF mini player mini will be easily able to recognize the song and even we can easily able to recognize the song inside the SD card. But do let me know if you if you recognize, if you if you come to know that what I am about to say. Do let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, similarly, we have more such functions like we can loop a particular song. Okay, we can enable loop all that will loop all the MP3 files. Both easy, everything is pretty straightforward, everything is properly commented. Okay, and here is all here are some of the functions that will help you to you know read the values. For example, you can use the read volume button to read the particular volume number. Uh, currently, uh, MP3 model is you know configured at okay. So, okay, this example code have we have this example code, but what I'll do, I'll write my own example code with four buttons to you know play music forward and reverse and also to do the volume plus and minus <laughs> let me write that code down very quickly for you guys so first of all i'll define the pin numbers quickly okay and also i'll change this software serial to serial 2 because i'm using my esp32 board to test this example code so i'll quickly change the serial 2 here as well as here after that i did all this thing inside the loop part and i'll write my own code as if digital read of previous like if previous button is a, you know pressed what it to do is we need to play the previous song and its command is this I'll simply copy and paste it here i'll put a delay uh, of 100 milliseconds so it doesn't you know 
repeat the command again and again if the if even if the button is pressed for one single time also i'll write in the serial monitor as perfect so with this whenever we press the previous button it will play the previous file not also it will be printed inside the serial monitor let me do the you know write the if condition for all other buttons as well Okay, so here I'm doing the volume up. So by pressing this button, I'll be able to, uh, you know, level up the volume and we can also read the current status of the volume by this function. So I'll copy and paste this function here. Great. So it will read the volume. And similarly, I can also, you know, lower down the volume. So whenever the V minus button is pressed, let's lower down the volume and read the volume button pretty much yeah straightforward so this is the simple code for uh, four buttons so i'll delete all these things and let's just test this code and then i'll talk more about like how you can attach the sensors and everything pretty common Shallow. let's select the right com port which is not connected i'll connect it directly with my computer and uh, let us hit the upload button okay so let's test it out i'll turn off my uh, sorry i'm turn on my smartphone's camera as well to let you see my setup okay here's an error we can't use this plus symbol in this particular thing so i'll say vu for volume up and vd for volume down similarly i'll change here as well yeah yeah thoda kyu bol raha speaker mein okay i remove the speaker v up vd and aur kahin change karna hai kya yeah here as well v up and v d chalo let's upload it once again yaar ab kya dikkat ho gayi okay i can't use next because next is already used here so main kya karu fir forward yeah theek hai forward use kar lete hain theek hai sab jagah sahi ho gaya let's upload it once again bhai ab to ho ja yaar okay great so it compiled successfully it started uploading as well i'll connect the speaker okay and uh, okay i'll turn on the camera on my smartphone so no smartphone camera is turned on i'll open the serial monitor and yeah here is the setup so here are the, all the four buttons and here is the sd card mo uh, mp3 module and the amplifier module yaha hai speaker yaha hai esp32 theek hai so on the serial monitor df player mini online let's just press the previous button and let's see okay it says previous button press on the serial monitor and music bajna shuru ho gaya chalo volume thoda down karte hain Okay, as you can see, the volume is going down, 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 down. Fifteen, twelve, eleven, nine, ten. Yeah, let us turn up the volume. So this is the full volume. The thirty is the full volume. Let us play the next song. So this is the next song. Again, next. This is the next song. Okay. So this is the next song, and if I can also switch to the previous one. So it's working perfectly fine. Let's stop it out and let's discuss what uh, way more things. So yeah, this was the example code to play and pause the music. So this is kind of a mini MP3 player that we have made. Play uh, previous next step plus minus. So you can also add the play pause button. An MP3 module project will be ready for use. Okay, and what we can do next is we can attach sensor in place of the switches. Like you can attach a motion sensor and. you can make a welcome greeting automated system like whenever someone comes in your room it will say welcome to techiesm studios like this kind of thing you can easily do with this particular thing by writing simple line of code that we have just written okay also you can do some alert system when you can attach this sd card module with a fire alarm system and it will like it will say like you know evacuate it's a fire alert evacuate it's a fire alert that kind of you know notes you can add okay and also you can use it for the uh chaos machines as well okay so we have vending machines okay so vending vending machine you can use this particular thing and i have shown how to easily you know get started and use it for your projects was that interesting and useful or not well do let me know your thoughts in the comments of the video mujhe to kafi useful laga yaar ye bahut simple hai very easy to use and one great thing we are selling it at the cheapest price on internet just click the link mentioned in the description purchase this model from techsms website and you'll get that module you know it will be shipped within 24 hours and maybe within a week you'll get at your doorstep so yeah do check it out techsms website to get this module and also to get the amplifier module bahut sasta mein mil raha hai yaar and yeah i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked the video i hope you got to learn something new from it if is it so consider liking the video and just tell youtube algorithm jo ki meri चैनल को बिल्कुल प्रमोट नहीं कर रहा यार बताओ उसे कि डू प्रमोट टेकी एस एम एस एंड हाउ यू कैन डू दैट यू कैन जस्ट क्लिक द लाइक बटन कमेंट बिलो दिस वीडियो अबाउट हाउ वॉज दिस वीडियो एंड इन सारे इन सारी चीजों से यूट्यूब को सिग्नल मिलेगा दैट दिस वीडियो इज वर्थ वॉचिंग एंड दैट बींग सेड आई एम जस्ट एंडिंग दिस वीडियो हियर एंड नाउ जस्ट 
Wait for my next one. It's blur. Learn, share with me. Take SMS.